Hey everybody, today I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, sync prices, B2B um, wholesale catalog and uh, price list prices for Shopify uh, B2B stores. So let's say you get a spreadsheet that has prices in it and you want to make sure that they're synced and you're offering these wholesale prices to other B2B customers. So let's just look where that is in Shopify. So in Shopify, you'll click on products, you'll click on catalogs. And here you'll make your catalogs. Catalogs are essentially price lists. They're a list of products that have certain price rules. In this case, you know, I have an overall price adjustment of 10% off for anything in my bingo special prices catalog. And you can add things to this catalog. Um, but there's no easy, obvious way to go manage the products. Maybe Shopify will update this you know, throughout time. But right now, you have to click on this uh, dot, dot, dot menu and go to Manage Products and Pricing. Okay, And you see I've added products to this. Um, you have to go to the individual product and, and make it part of the price uh, catalog. So look in Shopify's doc to do that. Once you add it, you'll be able to see the prices here. And you see these are just taking the 10% off the overall price adjustment. But these two, see how they're editable, is because they have a fixed price. Okay, so the easy CSE function that we're going to talk about right now is adding a fixed price to a variant for a price list and then keeping that fixed price up to date. So once you do this import flow, no longer will that variant in this price list have a um, price according to the overall adjustment. Okay, it's going to just be the fixed price. So. Think about that. You'll be you'll be syncing fixed prices with some sort of spreadsheet or or data. Okay. So I have two um, variants here. I'm going to show you how to do this with. And the way that Easy CSV will work is you'll have a spreadsheet and it'll have you know a first row of column headers. Right here's the column headers: SKU, price, and quantity. Your might your file might have something different. Might have barcode. Might have item number might have something that's the SKU. You need a SKU or barcode to look up that we use as lookup for price. I'll show you that in a second. And then there's a price column. Maybe it's price, maybe it's euro price, maybe it's something price in it, and it has the price. You might have a stock or quantity column. If you want to keep stock up to date, watch our other videos. We have a way to update existing pro uh, product variants. And that normally lets you update price, but because uh, B2B price catalogs or price lists in Shopify are a newer thing that's kind of separate from the variant. Um, this is a whole separate import flow we're talking about in this video. This video and this flow is just for <clears throat> catalog or price lists. Okay, if you want to keep the generic price for the variant that's kind of public on your website up to date, use our update flows that can also update stock quantity. So you could have one flow updating B2B prices for a specific price list and another flow updating you know, quantity and price and whatever for the, the essentially the public listing. Okay, cool. So here's the file we're going to import. It's going to have two different rows. It's going to make sure the price is up to date for these two different SKUs. So we're going to say, let's update this one to $33. Let's update this one to $44. Okay. So if we go over to Easy CSV, um, you know, we can set up a flow. Let me set one up here from scratch. You click new import flow. You're going to say maybe you'll get the file from FTP or Maybe it's emailed to you or you just want to update it or upload it. I'm going to, since I already put it in Google Sheets, I'm just going to search for this. But you can, you know, uh, just select one of the example files from here. If it's on FTP or something, download it to your computer first, then upload. Okay. So, you know, we can name this like new price list updater. And you can name it the, you know, the price list. Special prices. You'll make one flow per price list you want to keep up to date. So if you have like a, you know, a, a Great Britain price list, you keep up to date. And a U.S. price list, you keep up to date. And maybe a French price list up to date. You'll have to make three different import flows um, because you'll set the price list you want to sync with the file. Okay. So we're going to uncheck quantity because we don't need that. And then we're going to say we want to go to Shopify. And this kind of is the import page, okay? I'm going to go back to the one I have set up. You basically have an import page where you can drag and drop files, but there's tons that you can automate. You, you can send the files via email attachment here. You can use our scheduled fetcher to go get this price file from FTP or Dropbox or Google Drive, right? Or 
S3 or a public URL, like wherever the file is, usually we can get it. So that's how you automate. Uh, but you know, test you'll drag the file here. Okay. Once you do an import, you get a nice uh, uh, results here in the logs. If you go to the import flow, this is kind of where it details how everything works. The top is how we can get files email or fetching or uploading from the page. The middle is the columns, the columns you've told us to pull from the file. We're going to pull these. I'm going to delete quantity because we don't need it. So we're just going to pull SKU and price from this file, SKU and price. Go back to the import flow here. There's filter. You can filter out data. Maybe there's a bunch of SKUs you don't care about or something like that. You can get rid of them. Virtual fields is really nice. Maybe you want the prices in the file to be rounded up to 99 cents or to the nearest dollar. Um, you can do that. Okay. The other thing you're going to want to do is you notice that there's no column for the priceless name or ID, okay? But we know it's called Bingo Special Prices. That's the name of our um, price list. So you're going to want to go into these virtual fields. Virtual fields are basically massaging data or things that don't exist in the file you want to use. In this case, I've made a virtual field. You can always click New, and you get to this virtual field. You'll name it whatever you want. Maybe you just want to call it Price List. And go to static value and you're going to put the name of that price list here okay so you're going to go here and you can just copy it if you want and put it right in here you can also copy the id you see here's the id right here the catalog id you can put that here too i like to use the name it's more obvious to me um, we do the lookup both ways so if you look at the one i've set up i've called it vf for virtual field underscore price underscore list and i've just said the static value and being those special prices so now you'll notice we have one virtual field we can use. The bottom is the destination. We're going to Shopify for action. Make sure you choose update catalog prices. Okay, don't do update existing SKUs. That's how you just update the general, you know, public price and you know quantity and you know a bunch of other stuff, tags. You can update a ton of stuff in there. This one is just for keeping price up to date with price lists. Okay, you'll select your store if you have multiple stores, and then you're going to click on the mappings. So on the left is the Shopify fields, on the right is the SKU, you know, the columns from your file and the virtual field. So we're taking SKU here and we're taking that virtual field to do price, okay? And then we're taking the price column. Now, if you wanted to do, um, you know, let's say you wanted to do something with the price, you can say like VF price, virtual field price, or massage price. And maybe you want to take that price from the spreadsheet and you want to do something to it. Maybe you want to, we have a bunch of math down here. You know, maybe you want to add 20%. You can multiply it by 1.2, right? 120% around the two decimals, and then you're going to get a nice massaged price. So you could do whatever you want to the price here. Um, maybe the price has um, like some sort of money symbol in front of it. We do a pretty good job removing that stuff. You know, maybe it has the dollar symbol, you want to remove that, or it has euro space, you know, you, you can remove that. So you can do whatever you need to to the price to get it in. If you need help, just contact us via chat or email. All right, so now we're all set up. We've, we've mapped the fields. You know, we're ready. So we can go back to this import flow. I could just drag and drop the file here, choose it from my computer, but since I have it as a, a Google Sheet already, I'm going to leave that there. And maybe if you automate this, you don't do this upload. We import the two records. You'll see that it actually queues up the import. Okay, you get some emails if you want. It'll say it's queued up. In this case, it did both right away. If you refresh this page, you'll see that on the bottom, here's a log of what happened. You can click here to the report. It says what succeeded. It'll tell you the SKUs and what was sent over. This report lasts a week. Um, you get all those emails. If those emails are annoying, you can always go into notifications and turn, up, turn them off. Um, but that's it. So both both prices should have been updated. What do we want to update it to? 33 and 44. You'll see how it's 199 and 99 right now. If I refresh this page, you'll see it's 44 and I think there's probably I think there's three different ones here. We have 33, right? So there's it's right in the range. These other two have the because these variants I were not I was not updating them, so they're getting the overall price. But this one we just added a fixed price to. And this is the other one with the fixed price. Okay, so that's it. If you need any help, reach out to Easy CSP support via chat. We always answer if we don't right away. You can also email us. Uh, let us know how it goes.